Welcome back to Pathologic 2, Marble Nest. At the end of the last episode, we came back to our home to get some rest, and we found a bunch of mourners outside mourning our death, even though we're alive. And as soon as we went inside, they boarded up the door so I can't get back out. And uh, that's where we are. So yeah, good things. Yep. Yep. <laughs> so scary. But just keep yourself together. Alright, Doc? The fight's not over. Is it? Is it? Of course it isn't. Don't worry. You can stay here for as long as you like. The world is your oyster. You can even live forever if you want. As for the banging and the other horrors, just forget them. How can anyone forget all this? Just keep it out of your head. Allow yourself to zone out, and morning will come once again. Once again, I will, uh, wake you up, sort of. We'll help you too, like I always do. Everything will be fine, like it was before, eh? Wait, what does Sticky mean by wake you up, sort of? Sounds tempting, can't argue with that. Look, y'all, he's waking up. What if he attacks us? I'd say we make a run for it. I don't think you'd manage to, even if you tried, lad. I think we've been boarded in. You've almost come too. See? We've been here all along. What is this banging noise? What noise? Are you okay? Whatever. Now let me through. Remember, at one point, when we were talking to Shrew outside of that building before, they said that we're not actually where I thought we were outside of that building, but they're like, what are you talking about? We're, we're like talking to you while you're in bed or sick or something, tending to you? I don't know what the hell's going on. doubt there's anything to loot. But I always have to try, don't I? I'm really curious if we're going to find our own body in our bed. Hey. So, Bachelor Dankovsky, the founder of Thanatica, a lab where you've been fruitlessly trying to solve the problem of human mortality for too many years. The tragic sand plague fighter. Are you ready to die? Go on. I like how you're listing my achievements. More, please. Enough. You've had enough time to put yourself and your actions in perspective. Your thoughts keep coming back to your very last day time and again, as if you were trying to fix something. But in reality, you are lying here, delirious, clinging to the naive hope that this terrible house is a product of your imagination, a prophetic nightmare. Are you trying to tell me that when the boy woke me up, you once again refuse to die and plunge into a new loop of your deathbed derangement. Everything but this house is a product of your imagination. But now you are finally coming to. There's only one step left to make to leave the illusion behind and embrace reality. I'm afraid I'll have to be insistent, so I repeat. Are you ready to die? No. I refuse to. This is all a trick. So you refuse to die. Are you sure you thought this through? Yes, I refuse to die. So you want to repeat this circle once again? Well, the choice was yours to make.
Yes, I'll stay here until the end. Now close your eyes. When you open them, a boy called Sticky will wake you up, and the stone yard will once again be free of infection. Perhaps this time you'll manage to prepare yourself for the inevitable. See you soon. A new the day begins. This is also a way of conquering death, to return once again to the time petrified, and again and again. It's a cycle, a pause. Things will change, and the day starts anew. Turn once again to the time petrified. I wonder if the dialogue is going to be any different, or if I have to make it different by choosing different options now. I think this is the same so far. Just told him I can turn it good still. Ah, that's how I know that this is prophetic, because there's a bowl in it. And isn't it here where there's the odd key? A cold key. And I have a heart. In the step lower, the center of mind and knowledge is the liver, while the center of feeling and emotion is the lower guts. They view the heart as a less crucial and rather mechanical organ that simply pumps life around, oddly arriving at a consensus with science-based medicine. Reflects light at odd angles, making its true size difficult to discern. I remember at one point this key just disappeared when I checked my inventory. It just wasn't there anymore. I don't think it matters if I do that or not. When does the key disappear? I'm going to keep checking. Well, it's already gone. That is so creepy. We leave this place and then... And Sticky wakes us up. So this is all happening again. Let's do things differently. I know it's almost certainly futile, but I want to try to, you know, beat the day. Just helped out with a person who had a stroke, and that gave us the prompt to go to the cathedral. Let's see if the cathedral is actually open to us right now. I know when we tried to go there before, which I think was after we discovered the plague, it was closed. And the tragedians were just playing outside of it. But maybe if I go there before, and should I talk with you? Ah, right. That's Saba's place. That's now marked because of that conversation. And then the kids are over here. But I don't want to touch that house for now. Let's just go straight to the cathedral. at the guarded house? No, the shop. This? Confused woman. People were evicted from three houses yesterday. They must have left food behind. When is it going to be distributed? Uh, evicted? How? Why? I don't know. But there may be goods inside, and those houses stand deserted anyway. So why won't they let us in? Perhaps you're right. There may be food left there. I'll take a look. Which particular houses are you talking about? Who do they belong to? I don't know. Rumor has it there are soldiers standing watch by them. Even if there's no food left inside, perhaps we can at least relocate some refugees there. I mean, really, Doctor. My own house is so packed, there's no room to swing a cat. And you've forbidden them to go outside, too. 
Why would you swing a cat? Don't do that. I've forbidden everyone to go outside, yourself included, but my words seem to fall on deaf ears. What you looking at? Move along. Our business here, not yours. Wrong. As long as I'm the only doctor in this town, everything's my business. You ordered to lock the shop yesterday, didn't you? Well, lo and behold, tis locked. So why did you come? An exception, are you? Locked for everyone but ye? You big city fucker. Let's be the bachelor. Watch your tongue. Perhaps you need jail time to cool your head off? I read that very oddly. To cool your head off? To cool your head off. You're playing with fire, big shot. If the shop ain't open in an hour, we'll tear it down. If you do, it will be your loss first and foremost. The people are starving. The children are starving. What was distributed the day before yesterday? Gone now. You closed everything due to the threat of the infection. The threat is no more, so open the shop back. Or we will simply dismantle it. Our patience is running thin. Who told you the threat is no more? Uh, don't know. But I know that the judge, Georgi Kine himself, lifted the quarantine, unlocked the isolation ward, dismissed the orderlies. So let him open the shop. If he doesn't, we'll break it open. Throw huge bags of millet in there, and flour too. The people know everything. It's the empty can that makes the most noise. Rumor mongering is worse than infection. It only promotes panic. If you don't open it, we'll get to you too. You got yourself special treatment, ain't you? Don't play with fire, big shot. Ungrateful bastards, all of you. Georgi Kine is lifting the quarantine. Yeah, the tragedians aren't here, so just finding the infection inside of that house seems to have, like, triggered a bunch of stuff to happen and change and places to lock up and things like that. So, that's it, right? We're free to go? Why are there so few of you? Where are the rest of the guards? I left two platoons here. I mean, the cathedral's been open again, so... Everyone's gone. Ours is the only unit left. Plover is a beast when it comes to discipline and orders. Unlocked? By whom? Look over there. By the entrance, see? That's Staff Sergeant Plover. Ask him. He's the one who talked to the people in charge. Until the outbreak has been curbed, I'm the person in charge. I mean, they say the threat is no more. Only across the river, but the plague is dying out there, too. We managed a counterattack on it, didn't we? What counterattack, soldier? Infection isn't human, you can't shoot it. Staff Sergeant Plover. Contrary to the instructions of a representative of the local authorities, Judge Georgi Kine, I kept my squad on security duty. Your orders, sir. Tell me more, what happened? Well, there were 40 or so potentially infected people inside. Then yesterday, they told us the outbreak had been curbed. No additional protective measures necessary. The locals even went as far as to try and break the people out of the cathedral. Else they would languish in vain. The judge canceled the quarantine. Now everyone's gone. Where's the judge? I don't want to be court-martialed. It wasn't the judge who assigned us here. And it's frightening too, Doctor. One can't be too cautious. Scared of, of what? A couple of them stayed inside. The rest have scattered, but these ones must be mites, plague bearers. Either dead on their feet or responsible enough not to flee. We haven't checked.
You don't need to. I'll do it. What happened as soon as I entered this place? Was it time doing funny things in here? Clockworker. Each time I catch a glimpse of that giant clock up there, I'm reminded of the fact that the cathedral is not a temple, but rather a machine. What kind of a machine? This is a time machine. Time works differently on the inside and on the outside. It's frozen now. I think something's broken. Previously, this place served as an isolation ward for the infected, the suspected, and the ones who may have contracted the disease. I assume you're one of them. I am but a humble servant. I work here. I always have and always will be confined to this place, so don't worry about me. I won't go anywhere. Those two also refuse to leave, which means they cling to life too much. Understandable obstinacy. This cathedral sounds more like a cold room than a machine. A gateway protecting one from non-existence? You're quite right. If they leave this place like those poor careless souls from before, they'll simply die. There's no doubt about it. You are either a fatalist or a fanatic. Cathedrals can't save people from plagues. Look up, Bachelor. Can you see the clock? Its hands are frozen. Outside, they won't live to see the evening. But in here, nothing will threaten their lives until time starts running again. If you can call this pathetic, feverish crawling inside a heartless stone belly life, that is. Alright, less small talk and more examining the seekers of the life eternal. What are they called, anyway? Adam and Eve? Marat and Dora. That'll do, too. These were the... Marat and Dora. I think these were the two people that were inside of our house. At the very beginning, at the start of a loop. Don't listen to him. He's raving. I think he's got sand pest. But I know perfectly well it's mere consumption. I'd rather examine you, your arm, if you please, and look at the light. She's unnaturally pale and drowning in sweat, but you see no other signs of the sand plague. The vacant look and generally unfocused appearance betray a commotion of the nerves that sur surpasses general anxiety. <laughs> I love this option here. I don't know. Hard to say for sure. Whatever. You may go. <laughs> don't. Leaving this place spells doom. What makes you so sure, anyway? Perhaps it doesn't. You two will go to my place and stay supervised. End of story. I know I'm sick. So I'm going to surrender myself to the soldiers. Let them execute me. It's as simple as leaving the cathedral, you know. Extend your arm, please. I'd like to check the pulse. And look me in the eye. The symptoms do remind you of the sand plague. Fever, dilated pupils, slurred speech patterns. You will not live to see this evening. But a person sick with sand plague at this stage would also have yellowish skin coloration. It's hard to say for sure. Say what you will, but it's not the sand pest. I'd say euthanasia by soldiers' bullets is inadvisable in your case. You'll be escorted to my place. I'll take another look at you in the evening. I'm not going anywhere without her. Go with her, then. Your friend is fine. I wonder if all options lead to the plague. 
whether it's that house and discovering it or sending these people out. I cannot diagnose the couple in the cathedral. Is time... Time is stopped, stopped. Like, it's 9.27. Let's see if time even advances. Nine twenty seven. Yeah, no need to rush at all. The tragedians do so love to play dice, don't they? You did the right thing, Doctor. They left this place while completely assured that they were going to die. To overcome the fear of death is a great achievement. Who knows? Perhaps this particular act of bravery is exactly what saved their lives. I'd be curious to follow their fates. Thank you. I took pity on them. Had a hunch that they'd simply perish here. As for out there, who knows? It's always dizzying to go up and down the staircase. It's so tight. I think I'll just do it like this. Oh, you can hear the sound like speed up, like sound, like uh, time going again. Everyone's gone. Okay, Georgi. The Anti-Epidemic Committee, the place to take day-to-day -day concerns to. Orderly number question mark. Uh, assuming the K isn't pronounced, just like Burach, uh, Ponrot, Lehobor, Bachelor. Can't be damned to remember my number. We got two sorts of trouble here, and I don't know which is worse. Firstly, the steppe people. Abandoned their camp behind the cathedral yesterday. The ones who stayed are preparing a funeral of some sorts. Secondly, the judge has kindly gone off his rocker. Cancels your quarantine measures. And I think he harbors an infected person too. A funeral? Who are they planning to bury? One of their lot, I suppose been all over the stone yard looking for you. The soldiers reminded them of their place. I see. I'll pay them a visit. Is the judge home? He's home, in the workshop, up the stairs and to the left. And don't forget them step people, too. Just follow the footpath by the cathedral. Go through the apple tree garden. You'll see the place. Or at least the smoke from their fires. I see. Where's your commanding orderly? As far as I know, they are planning to throw a small party at the Cape by the tombs. Ah, right. The party. That's another thing I wasn't able to do. Where to first? I guess I'm the closest to Georgi. I'm also quite close to this... committee. Remember, in the previous loop, after I had found the infected people and everything here was changed and everything was pretty much locked, everybody was, I guess, replaced with tragedians, including this committee. I remember there were three tragedians just sitting here. 